Check, check. There we go. I don't know what it is with Streamlabs. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, sometimes it doesn't recognize my mic. Very odd. Uh, I missed it because I hadn't started yet, but thanks for following Danks88. Really appreciate it. Today we are going to be playing more Oath. I'm going to be playing alone today just because, uh, I've been trying to figure out the Clockwork Prince. I think I finally have it locked and loaded. Uh, this is my fourth game in this chronicle with this prince, which I haven't posted in the Leader Games chat just because it's a little corrupted. I definitely, definitely messed up the first couple games um, with this oath. But after um, Saturday, I'm going to play with real players. And yeah, then we'll we'll hopefully pull pull any oddities from the first few games out of it. So here we go. I'm going to be basically narrating what I do as I do it, because I'm going to be... Uh, I won't have much else much else to say otherwise. Not a lot of sound in this game. There's sound effects, which is very nice. Very nice. And yeah, if you notice me, if you're familiar with the Clockwork Prince and you notice me doing anything wrong, feel free to let me know, because I've got it. I've, I've, I've got it most of the way, but I don't, I don't fully have it. I think I might have some problems with it still. Okay. So, this is going to be the Oath of the People, whoever holds the People's Favor, this right here. So, we're going to start with the Clockwork Prince's Chancellor. First, he assesses threat, which in this case is what's in the top left. None of that applies, so threat doesn't change. That doesn't change anything. Then, he searches. Unlike the regular players, you don't have to do them one by one. And they are revealed to the other players, so it's not cheating for me to see them. And then we're going to play Friend. Since we don't have any Friend, we're going to play Unaligned, which in this case is Homesteaders. And because there's two battle plans, their threat goes up too. And so we're going to play Homesteaders to the topmost site we can. Unlike me, he can play to any site that has an open slot. So that means that he gets a hearth favor because that's the hearth suit and then the hearth suit goes up one to become a friend um oh and i forgot gotta drop one on the people's favor at uh, woo not what i meant come on come on there we go and then these get discarded out to the provinces as usual because this pawn is over here now we have that, so the one that we moved in that search phase will show us how many actions, in this case, two. So, we gotta assess the flowchart. I know it's a lot. It took me a while to like fully parse this, but effectively, you prioritize red, orange, then black. We are on, right now, the uh, heart in the bottom right. So we're gonna go up to holds people's favor, which we do. And we're going to move to there. So that's another search action. Uh, let's see. Okay, still nothing there. We're going to do play friend, which, since he's our only friend still, uh, we're going to be moving that into the step. Let me double check. We got two battle plans. Woo. A very strong prince right off the bat. So that's going to get dropped in here as well. Another hearth favor. These get... No, no, no. These get, come on. Uh, it gives me guff with the hands. I don't care for that. All right. So those get discarded as well. And that gets bumped up. Now, he still only gets to take two actions, so don't worry about that. Then we're going to move, if you can see here, we're going to move from that search action, follow the black arrow, which is the only one going out, up to here. And we will travel to the site with the most favor. So basically... The site with the most friends at it, and that is going to be the step. All right, so we did that. Now in recovery, we just drop him onto the starting token, put him back where he was at. And any favor he put out, which he did not, would go to the various banks. So that's the end of his turn. Now it is my turn as the yellow exile, these little robot guys. I love them so much. All right. So I need to get the people's favor first and foremost. Uh, I'm going to start by flipping over Spirit Snare, which allows me to get a favor from any one favor bank. So I'm going to use that to take the last favor from Hearth so he can't get at it. 
then I'm going to use one supply to trade with Dazzle for a secret, which I'll put there. And I get one because I have Spirit Snare here. Then, ooh, what's the next move? I need, I need to be able to trade because I need to be able to take the people's favor, and it's going to get pretty expensive. I always have to put one more favor than is on it to recover it. Hmm. I'm gonna... I have so many options here. Uh... Ooh, oh, gosh. You know, when in doubt, search. So let's search, see if we can get another decent card. Oh, and there's a vision. All right, so tutor, uh, yeah, let's play tutor to our advisors. So we're gonna specialize in arcane and then vision of conquest, rule the most sites. I'll hang on to that for now. And while yes, I know what it is, so it doesn't, it wouldn't ne necessarily need to be upside down to hide anything. I also, um, uh, flipping it, is like a specific action, so I can't just flip and whip it around willy-nilly. Hmm, what next? <clears throat> let me think, let me think. Oh. Well, oh, and I forgot to move visions revealed, so now it costs three to do the visions. Hmm. Well, I have four left, so let's move to whatever this middle province's site is. The Wastes, not great. Not great at all, but that gets a relic out here, and that relic I'm allowed to peek at. That could be useful. Okay, let me use my last two to search here. Wait. I did get to see these. They were... In according to the rules, they are officially revealed. Uh, it was. I can't remember. Whatever, I'll spend it. Okay, not what I wanted, unfortunately. But oh, it's gonna get filled up, so I may as well do it to get a thing. What's this one? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop that one in, which gets me a favor right there. And then these are going to get flipped out to here. Then I'm going to activate, uh, what is this? Tutor, so that I can gain a supply, or a secret, rather. And then that is the end of my turn. I will toss this into an arcane. Toss, ooh. Yes, loading up the arcane, perfect. That's gonna help me out a lot. And then secret, secret. And we're gonna go back up. We have 11, so we go to nine plus. That is the end of my turn. So now it's gonna go back to the Clockwork Prince. The threat level has not changed, so we don't do anything for assess threat. Drop another favor on the people's favor, since that's the end of his wake phase. Then we're going to search. What do we got? Oh, there's a there's a vision. I'm not allowed to see it. Ah, I saw it was a conspiracy. Whatever. It doesn't actually matter that much. You're not supposed to reveal them in the physical game, but it's whatever. I'm I'm the only person who can use them anyways. So now we are in conspirator territory so nobody's conspirator so it's going to be wild cry and that is going to go into conspirators it's going to drop over in here a little confused why that's that far over which gets them a beast favor does that do anything else i it, wow that's really good i'm i'm gonna have to run out there 
as soon as I can. Okay. That's one that got uh, shuffled in from the archive since the last game. Uh, whoop. Flip that. So that I don't just flip them over again. And that gets discard out to there. And we're going to do two actions because we moved beast. So starting from here, we got to go up to here, which is trade for favors and secrets. In this case, there are only these guys here. And to double check, trade each empty card. Okay. So he's going to get four favor. Oh, that's not great for me. But that's 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 where we're at. Okay. So that's one action of two. And then the next one is going to be this, which is travel to a site with a relic. I'm already at a site with a relic, so we're going to skip that. Can, can I pay for that relic? Yes, absolutely. So that's three to the Nomad Bank. Oh, whoa. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, great. Hold on. Let me rewind it a little bit. Because I kind of got that up. There we go. Fixed. Uh, let me lock this. I don't know why it was unlocked. One, two, uh, hmm. That's not correct. I think I rewound it a little too far. Uh, no. No, that's, that's right, I guess. Hmm. Well, okay, I don't know what happened there. Hopefully it didn't mess it up too bad. But there we go, three to that. And he gets the relic. Dousing stick. Ooh, okay, that'd be a good way to get relics, but he's not actually aiming for the relics. In fact, let me, let me do a more flat view here. Prefer it flat. Okay, so that is the... Uh, that'd be over there. So that is the two actions. Um. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Clean up anything. There is not anything to clean up. Drop this onto the start marker. Put those back where I ended. Okay, now it is the exile turn, so what to do, what to do? Well, hmm. Um, oh, wait, no, this one isn't going to work because there's no more room here, and if we discard it to get rid of it, that's actually going to just get rid of it. So, okay, that one's actually not that great being played to a site, but there's nothing I can do about that now. All right, I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop this guy right here to gain a favor from what's low. Well, I'm going to take it from Hearth since he's not going to have too many other options. And let's see. We're going to spend two to move over here. Spend another to trade with Dazzle, which gets us three from Arcane. Which is the four we need to recover the people's favor. So we're going to do that. That is mine now. I don't want it to lock over there. So we're just going to drop one over and then put the three that would have been on there into whatever banks we like. I like, uh, let's say, Discord Arcane Order. That helps me out a good deal. Okay, and uh, I'm going to trade with bear traps and then muster on the gathering. Gets me two more warbands. Uh, 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 gentle, gentle. Let me just organize those. You get, there we go. I don't know why it wouldn't let me grab them. Okay. So that is the end of my turn. I'm going back up to 9+. plus. Get my secrets back. 
put the favor in the Nomad Bank. And that is the end of my turn. We're on to round three. So assess the threat. Uh, oh, since I took the people's favor, I am in fact the Oath Keeper now. And Exile Oath Keeper means that we change the threat. Exile Oath Keeper it means we're going for the Oath Keeper goal, which is the people's favor. Hop on back over here. So we don't hold the people's favor, so we don't go along the red. We don't. Uh, well, I gotta do the the search and everything first, so I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'll explain that once we get to it. And we're playing friend. The leftmost friend is hearth. Uh, oh, actually, I can't. Oh, what do I do in that case? I haven't run into that a ton because I usually have a much more open world. Uh, it's under this. Discard it and gain what is shown in the can't play box. Okay, so I basically have to discard this out to here. I still get this into my ambitions box. Eh, close enough. Eh, come on. I locked these down. I don't know why they became unlocked. There we go. Okay. So these get discarded as well. And then we get... What does he get? Two favor. I only grabbed one. Why is that? Whatever. Let's... So we got two favor. And then do we advance the marker still? Yes, we still advance hearth. Oh, and we still get a hearth. Nope, I already grabbed the hearth one. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take four actions. Oh boy, okay. So can I pay? No, there are still four. So can't do that quite yet. And then higher priority is if we are battle ready. No, definitely not battle ready. So then we're gonna move down to trade for that. That's, we're gonna get the one that's there. We're gonna move, oh, actually, I can pay for it now. So yes, that's gonna move over here. Um, no, wait, 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 that's ambition. Ambition doesn't count, so actually I don't have enough yet. Then we're going to travel to the most there. We're already there, so we skip that. Here's the second one. Then trade for favors. Or, you know what? Actually, I wouldn't get the most. Oh, it doesn't matter, because there's nowhere else that would give me more. Trade for favors to trade for secrets. Nothing. So that's... I've only done one thing so far muster so let's let's muster twice he does it in all of the spaces here so one two three four and line those up and then that gives him seven versus my one two three four five five and the four dice that's nine so he needs at least ten Unfortunately, he... Oh, wait. Uh, 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 seven, ten. He does have ten, so he's battle ready. All right. Holder of people's favor. So it's going to go over here. He's going to attack the people's favor. He rolls seven. Plus his tactics of three. And then... I am going to roll whatever I like, so I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll four plus the additional one. I don't have any battle plans, I don't think. Nope, 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 nope. Mm, yeah, no, I don't have anything. So, five versus ten. That's 
you know that's not a, too bad i think i think i can i can get through this so let's do it what are we going to get what are we going to get I got, oh, I got, okay, 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's got 6. And, ah. So we'll have to discard everything. But, yeah, yeah, he wins that. Ah, crap. Well, okay, that's, that's fine. We're going to burn two of those favor, because it was seized. And he gets it back, which means he's Oathkeeper again. Let's see, we did that, we did that. Or no, we did that. Didn't do that, so two, three, we've done three. And now we hold the people's favor, so we zip over here to do another search. And there's a vision. I'm not looking. Okay, I didn't actually see it that time, so that's good. And we're going to play Conspirator, which is, yep, the old oak. Oh, nope, can't. No room. So that's going to be discarding. Get one from the beasts for the ambitions. Still move it up. And we're going to check in just a second what that means for the, uh, whoops, I should have discarded over here. My bad. And we get one war band, a secret, and a tactics. My, my God, that's, that's quite a bit, but that's fine. I can manage. Okay. So, how long have we been going? About 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Okay, now we're going to do clean up. Okay, cleaned up. Got to make sure. Move this over here. And, uh, oh, I forgot to move the visions. Frick, I think there was only that. Ah, I got it, I got to check. Uh, I'm gonna, mm, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it was a mistake, but I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any. If I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, uh, hmm, what to do? Well, first and foremost, I think I will play this on this, take one from Hearth, then I'm going to trade with Dazzle to get three, which gives me four, then I'm going to... Use one to muster a gathering. Uh, oh, and since I lost the last one, I should have removed two of these. My bad. Um. Okay. So that is five, which should be good for what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm going to... What? No, actually. Wait, hold on. Treated, mustard. I'm gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move over to the wastes. And then I'm going to attack... The step in the wastes, so that gets them two. Uh, that costs something, so that doesn't count. So they get two. And I get up to five, which I'm going to do all of. Okay, let's roll it. Two 
No, no. Oh, boy. That was a bad roll for me. Okay, so I lose three guys because there's three skulls. But I still get seven versus their two plus one each on the thing. So that's four. So I still win. I can drop my guys on there. Can't do much with that right now, but that's fine. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So that's going to be my turn. I don't really have much of a choice otherwise. I have three favor. Take my secrets back. Drop a secret in Nomad. Or drop that favor into Nomad. And that is round three. We're on to four. Okay, so assess threat. There is not one. Then we drop a favor. Oh, nope, that's ambitions. Drop a favor. Then we search. Oh, there's another f f vision. Vision's drawn. Definitely up to three now. And then we're going to play a Conspirator. We got Pied Piper, but there's nothing there. So Pied Piper gets discarded. Get one favor from that for the Ambitions. And they get a Secret, a Warband, and they would get Tactics, but they are Plumful. So that's a Secret. And then this is going to go out. Grouped. Oops. Uh, eh, okay. <laughs> there was only two cards, so. And we're going to pop this up, and that's four actions once again. Okay. So we're heading up to here, and we're going to muster. So that's one right there to get two more. Right there. And we're not, I don't believe we're battle ready. Hmm. Did I give them four dice? No, they have to roll more. Uh, is that including tactics, actually? Hmm. Let me see. Uh, wait, actually, yeah. Yeah, with the with the dice, that'd be three seven versus the four. So that's gonna. I don't know why it snaps there. That's a random spot. Stop it. Okay, okay. Gonna hop over here and attack both of these. Four dice plus three. I am going to use a favor on this for an additional defense die. So that's three. And nothing else I can do there. Okay, so that's eight. Yeah. No, seven versus three. That's okay. Fingers crossed. Oh, hey, thanks, Hellfire BM, for following. Just in time for a uh, not terrible roll. I'm pretty sure I still lost that, though. That's five, six. Yeah, yeah, five, six. They lose one, and I got four, so, yep, they win. I lose a warband. Other guy goes back to my board. And they drop warbands. Equal warbands they drop. So, I lost that sight, unfortunately, both of those. So, that's two of the four actions that he gets. Let's see. Let's see what's next here. It would be that, I think. Rule most sites. That is correct. This way, don't need either. 
Uh, I hold the people's favor, so we're going up here. That's a search. <coughs> okay, let's see how that works out for us. Uh, nothing that we have so far, so we're going to make elders a friend. Um, we cannot play it still, but that's fine. Get one from that to the Ambitions Bank. Then this gets discarded out to the hinterland. And, hmm. So that would be two, but it's it doesn't matter in this case. Not yet. Um. Anything else? Get the ambition that that. Yes, I did that correctly. So we are going to. Oh, actually, almost forgot. Gets two favor because it couldn't play the card. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna swing up here for the last one, which is travel to the site. With most favor, which in this case, I believe between one and five, yes, I'll be able to get the most from here. So that is the end of the Clockwork Prince is act phase. Then, what is next? Uh, clean up. I drop my favor on there, so that goes down there. And that sh whoa. That goes over into Nomad. And Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So it is Exile's turn now. We're gonna go with let's see, I'm gonna immediately do this to get one from Hearth. Steal that away. Then we're going to move to here, trade with Dazzle, and that gets us, uh, that gets us one, that's fine, that's enough, because then we're going to definitely recover the people's favor, uh, well, in this case, I'll just drop one. And then we'll put these onto the different banks. And then I am going to hop down to whatever this is. Let's find out. Lush Coast. Are there any other coast sites? Not this time around. That's fine. Okay. That's the end of my turn. 13. So we hop back up there. Do that. Get my secret back all of my secrets back. And then, yeah, round five. I gotta take Oathkeeper away if I'm not gonna lose this. All right. Feel free to talk in chat if there's any audio issues or video issues or if you're, you know, you have any questions. I know I'm kind of zipping through this with the presumption that you know what's going on, but I, I get that it's kind of complex if you don't already know the game. Just let me know. I am I am fully open to answering questions or just just talking whatever. So there is no threat. Mm, don't have the or wait actually there is a threat because I'm the oathkeeper now. Oathkeeper. So we're gonna switch over to this one right here. And let's see. I'm gonna. Da, 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 da. What's the next one? Oh, I don't have anything to put the people's favor on, so then we search. Okay, and it's play friend. No friends here, so we're gonna be playing. Uh. Discord. Which is that? Gonna get a Discord. Right there. That becomes a friend. And it's only going to take two actions. Uh, what is this exactly? Peek at anyone discard pile. That could be useful for later. Um, in the meantime, he gets his two actions here. Uh, ooh, don't forget to discard these. 
to the provinces. Provinces. Okay, so let's see. Can pay, I believe so. Or there. Seven total. Okay. So, yeah, he's going to take the people's favor right back. Dang, nab it. Okay. So, let's see. He's going to drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we're going to drop three to just make it up to the seven that he'd put on it. Then these other four are going to get dropped. And, yeah, they just get dropped in order left to right. Okay, uh, so he has that back. That's the Oath Keeper. And he gets one more move, so he's going to do another search. And we have Friend, which in this case... Uh, none of those. So... Or no, 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 my... A uh, friend would be this. So, yeah, that get that gets dropped right there, and that is a hearth, and that gets bumped back up, and these get discarded. Two provinces, and that's the end of his turn, which was pretty effective at stopping me. I gotta do something to get that people's favor. Hmm. If I don't get it, at the end of this round, it could end here. So, I can't really attack. I don't have much of a force. There's only two in Arcane. Hmm. Well, what was what was this this here? Rule the most sites. That's not super helpful either. Hmm. What's the plan? I think. Could I? Be really risky. Okay, I'm gonna spend two to move over here and trade with Dazzle or the last two in there. I'm gonna use Spirit Snare to take this one from Hearth. And then I'm going to muster twice, which I'm not going to be able to do much with on this turn. But that's okay. And... Yeah, I'm going to also use Tutor to get another secret will be very helpful here. Uh, and I'll s bank my last supply. So I go back up to nine, plus the one I banked, go up to max. Then I clean up, take all my secrets back, drop all of this stuff in arcane and such. That one goes to order, that one goes to nomad. Last secret. Okay. So since he's the Oath Keeper and the Chancellor, we're going to roll the game-ending die. Here we go. If it is a six, then he wins right now. That's a five. Okay, we keep going. So, assess threat. Nothing. No threat. Uh, this, we're going to drop a favor on that, and then it gets flipped over to the mob side, so it costs twice as much each round. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, tw
One sec. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't want to make too many gross noises directly into the mic. Okay. So, thread is assessed. Mob is side. And then we do the three. Which, obviously, the one there is the vision. Which I'm not allowed to see. And then we're going to play Friend. So we have Boiling Lake. Which gets him a Discord. And moves that up. Anything else I need to know? Woof, that's a rough one. Okay. And this gets discarded. And then he gets to take three actions. So, hmm, I'm going straight up to here. That's travel to the one where I could get the most. Nomads, probably Discord, anything with Discord and Nomads. Discord Hearth, yeah, so that's, that's the one which he moved to the Boiling Lake. He must kill two, he only has one, so loses that guy. Then we're going to trade, so trade for favors and secrets. In this case, that would get him four from the Discord Bank, and two from the Hearth, but they are empty. And then he gets one more action, which is travel to a site with a relic, which he always prioritizes this spot, going, he always prioritizes, prioritizes cradle, going down, provinces going down, and so on and so forth. So, travel there, that's the end of his turn. It's going to go back up there, didn't drop anything out there. That's the end of that turn. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can manage this. So we're going to drop a seeker right there. Get a favor from Arcane. We're going to spend one to trade with that for another Arcane. We're going to muster twice. That's going to be two of those. One, two, three, four. And then... Okay. I only need to take out three sites, which is tricky, but I can do it. Okay. So, yeah, and then I am going to... Well, mm, no, I can't use that because I don't rule it anymore. Okay. So we are going to campaign against the Great Slum, the Steppe, and the Wastes. All three of those. Which gets, gets him these three, plus this. I'm going to do all nine, minus three, so I only get six. That's fine. Oh boy, it's risky. But if I can do it, I can do it. So let's... Let's do it. Okay. Come on. Good roll. Oh no, that was a bad roll for me. Okay. Yeah, I lose two. From the skulls. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I have seven, and he has six, eight, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to get rid of three. I can manage that. There we go. So I win. He loses one. 
gets to take back two. Then I can drop two on there, one on there, and one on there to rule the most sites. So I'm going to reveal my vision. Vision of Conquest. I win if I rule the most sites at the beginning of my next turn. So unless he takes this away from me, I may be able to win. It's going to be tricky, but we'll see. Then I'm going to use my last two... Use my last two to search. Wait, is this really only one? Oh no, that's not great for me. Okay, I'm gonna use my last two instead. Hmm. Hold on, what was this? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll move over there. All right, get back up to nine plus. My secrets back. Lose an order there. Lose a nomad there. Not missing anything. Okay, that's the end of that round. Now we roll again. If he rolls a five or a six, he wins. Two. We keep going. All right. So assessing threat, there is a vision. So, he's going to go after me there, which is the that vision goal. So, that's over here. Okay. And then he draws as normal. Uh, oh, he has to drop a couple favors on there. Hey, let's go. Uh, da, 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 da. Search. He has to search. Right. Okay, and he plays friend. The highest friend is this. But there's no room. So he's going to discard that. Doesn't get anything from the hearth bank. But he does get two war bands, and he would get his tactics up. Okay. Hearth can't go any higher. These go into there. All right, and he gets five actions, which is not great for me. Okay, four. Rival site with fewest. Uh, he's got four plus three. Seven. So, yes. In fact... Uh, yeah, he could do that. So he's going to go over there. He's going to go right there. And he's going to attack the Waste and the Great Slum. Since he's battle ready for it. So he gets seven dice. And I get... Can't pay for that. I'm going to activate that, so that kills one of his warbands, which removes one of his dice. And... Hold on. That subtracts one of his dice, which he would have had four, plus the three. I'm going to presume it's minus the dice, then that? So he loses the dice, and he loses the warband. Sure, so he still has six. Oh, meanwhile, I have two. I have two dice. Okay. Six versus two. Doesn't look great for me, but let's let's roll it. Oh, okay, loses one. Right off the bat. I got four, six. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Only needs to kill one. So I lose one of my guys. I keep one of my guys. And then he drops a guy right 
there. So I'm not technically doing the war bands anymore, but that's that's fine. I can I can battle the bandits with these guys. That'll that'll be okay. Um Okay. So that was his first action of five. Then rule most sites? No. Uh, the bandits rule the most sites, technically. So. Uh, wait. No, not battle ready, for sure. So then we're going to travel to the place with the most for the him. It's just going to be this one. Nope, those are both empty. Nomad. Nomad is the one. So we're skipping that. He's only done one action. Then he's going to trade, which gets him one from the Nomad Bank. And so that's his second action. Then he's going to muster. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three. He gets two more actions. Is he battle ready now? He has six versus there. One, two, three. So that'd be six plus the three, nine. So yes, he would be battle ready. So that's going to be his fourth thing. So he's going to move over here. And he's going to attack all three. They get three dice. He gets his six war bands plus three more. They don't have any free battle plans. So let's see what happens. All right, they got two. He loses three right off the bat. Whoops. Shoot, I hope I didn't move that incorrectly. Then he's got six, seven, eight, nine, ten versus their five. So yes, he gets those. Okay, and then that's one, two, three, four, five. So that brings him up here. And hold the people's favor. So that's a search as his last action. Okay, and it's play friend. The highest friend. None of these. So uh, unaffiliated, that's this. And that's a friend. So nothing in the arcane bank. Wait. Well, yeah, it's fine. He still gets that. Um, nothing in the Arcane Bank to give him. And he's going to get the Camp Play bonus. Which I believe is not... It's just a couple favor? Two favor. Yep. Okay. <coughs> so that's two favor... Did that, did that. Okay. So he gets cleaned up. This goes to order, that goes to arcane, that goes to nomad. Holy crap, okay. This is fine though, you know what? Yeah, this is okay. Okay, I'm going to use Spirit Snare to take one from Nomad. Then I'm going to spend two to move over here and trade with Dazzle. Yeah. Yeah. Which gets me that, and then I'm going to muster twice. Which doesn't help me a ton, honestly. But, you know what? 
Let's let's do it. Okay. I'll bank that so I can get back up to 9+. plus. Drop all of these on their respective stuff. Get my secrets back. And now we roll. If it's three or higher, he wins. Uh, two. Okay, so it keeps going. Uh, threat doesn't change, which I believe means... Um... That is up here. We're going back up there. Then he draws. Oop, wait. Actually, first he drops on the people's favor. Two. Then he draws. And we play friend. Which, well, we would, but there's nothing to do. Can't raise it, can't get anything. So he's just going to get two warbands. Great. A fine, fine time. And these all get discarded. Out to the hinterlands. Okay, and now he gets to do five actions. He... Uh, Actually, wait, what am I doing? There's no threat because I don't have a completed vision and all of that. So in reality, I should not have moved that. Let's go with this. Sight with most favor? Sight with most favor he can get would be any nomad sight. So let's move him back over here. Then he's going to trade for favor and secrets. So he gets one favor from nomad. Uh, one from secret. Or, oh, would get one from arcane, but nothing. And nothing from order. Then he's going to travel to a site with a relic. Which would be this guy. And then he can pay. So he's going to take that. Burn a secret. Just one. Just one. Which gets him the whistle. So that's one, two, three, four. He gets one more. Hold most relics and banners. Yes, he does. So we're going to go that way. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It, it confuses me because that's branching off so much, but in the top middle, basically the three on the right funnel into the one on the left, so it's supposed to go left-wise. So yeah, he's going to muster twice. There we go. That is the end of his turn. So we're going to re re-fasten that. Drop that on hearth. Drop that on nomad. Okay. Oh, what am I going to do? I guess I'm going to... Well, first I'm going to use Spirit Snare. Take that from Hearth. Then I'm going to... Trade with Order. Then I'm going to Muster twice. Which gives me nine. Yes. And then I'm going to campaign. I'm going to campaign against... One, two, three, four. Hmm. Going to campaign against... Uh, Wastes, Lush Coast, and the Great Slum. 
Yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. Uh, okay, so I get nine dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's nine minus three, because he has his tactics. So we're gonna get rid of these three. He's gonna get an Oath Keeper plus those three. Yep, okay. It's gonna be rough, but let's let's do this. Oh, I gotta do something. I lost one. Oh boy, and he got two, four, eight. Eight, eleven, one, two, three, four, five. That's that's fine. They'll still give me the most. So I'm gonna get rid of my. Uh, wait. I'll need to get rid of one more because I had five. He has eleven, so I gotta get twelve to win. Which makes us tied. I mean, I'll lose half of them anyway. So okay. He loses one. Gets two back. It whoa whoa. And I get to drop my guy on one that I like. So I'm gonna drop him on this guy. And that's the end of my turn. Get all my secrets back. Those will drop in. And that's the end, because he's Oathkeeper on the last round. So, Chancellor wins. Chancellor wins. Man, that's unfortunate. Okay. So we're going to remove that, because sometimes it doesn't play well with edifices, which is what that is. Uh, make sure nothing's just floating. Okay. And, yeah, I can just unlock all these. Because I'll just pop them back in as an object. Ah, <sighs> That's unfortunate. Oh, well. So let's save this real quick. Because sometimes it glitches out after you do the... Uh, Chronicle, which is the next bit we're going to do here. So, at the end of each game of Oath, you do the Chronicle. It's kind of automated in this version, which is nice. If they have anything, they get put on the relics. So let's do that. So the relics get there. We're going to go with Supremacy for the next game. They always build an edifice. Wild cry. Okay. Confirmed. And the suit to add is the highest friend. So we're going hearth. Or no, no, no. If it's an edifice, we go with the edifice. Beast. There we go. Okay. Ah. Ah. Well, shoot, that didn't go my way, but you know what? I'm going to do another game of it. So, I am going to reload Oath, since it looks like it didn't load in correctly. All right. I'm going to need to... Whoops. Actually, thinking about it, I just realized I forgot to actually hang on to the Chronicle. You gotta copy and paste that. So I messed that up a little bit. That's fine, that's my bad. Okay, I just gotta run through the Chronicle setup again. Done. Supremacy, confirm. Yes, yes, yes. 
Confirm. Confirm. We're going to add Beast. And we're going to export the Chronicle. So this string of code will be used in this next game that I'm about to start up. So I'll just import that, and then I'll get it set up. I'm going to take a quick break between games here. And I'll set those things up. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet, though. I'll be RB.
All right, I am back. Everything's set up. Sorry, I just I don't feel like commenting over me fumbling. Uh, somehow, I don't know how I did this. Uh, I got a white warband. I don't know. It, the bag isn't even spawned in for the white player, so I don't know how that happened. That's very spooky. Very odd, but whatever. We're all set up. So, here is where the legacy element comes in. So, the entire map has changed. The Narrow Pass, which was before in another part of this map, has scooted over. The Charming Valley. The Shrouded Wood is now up here. And we have this new Forest Temple edifice. The deck is going to be mildly changed. There's going to be a lot of cards removed, a lot of cards uh, added from the beast and everything. And, of course, because it's a new generation, we're doing a different supremacy oath, which means that whoever rules the most sites is the Oath Keeper. In this case, it is the Prince, who is Chancellor again. So we're going to start off as before. No threat this first turn. Doesn't have the people's favor. So we're going to go and draw three cards. Oh, uh, I'm not allowed to look at the vision. Okay. I did not see it, but that does increase the vision drawn. And gets one because there's a battle plan. And so let's see. He starts. Oh, got to make sure to stir him up. Starts in the Supremacy Quadrant, top left, which means that we play a friend. There isn't a friend, so we're going to play Wrestlers, which is unaligned. And now Order becomes a friend, and that means we'll be taking two moves for this guy here. So let's see, what moves is he taking? Battle Ready, the rival would be those guys. He could do four, but that's not quite enough for him. So he's not quite battle ready. Rule the most sites. Incorrect. Do not. It's tied with the uh, tied with the bandits. So we're going to flip right over here. And we're going to muster. Muster twice, once each. And that gets him four. Come on. I'm using metal, a TTS metal, which is faster. It's a lower, a little lower graphical quality, but it like my computer can handle it while streaming a little better. But it also means that there's a little bit of weird lag, which I don't like very much. Um, one moment, hold on, I'm gonna mute myself. Okay, sorry, I could hear my lips, like, smacking a lot more than usual into the mic, so sorry about that. That should hopefully fix that. So, he mustered up, got those guys, and then now he is battle-ready, so he's going to hop over here. Rival, we're going to hop right there. And he is going to attack both bandits, so they get two dice. And he gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one. So that's eight. And here we go. Let's see how he does. Probably pretty well. Oh, okay, they got four, five, six. And he loses two from the skulls. Then he's got two, four, five, six, seven. Versus there, six, so he does win. All right, and he's going to drop equal amounts, so three at each looks like, till he is out. Whoa! Okay, yeah, see what I mean? That shouldn't have happened. Whoa, uh, 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 reset my camera. Okay, so he lost two, yes. That's correct. Uh, you know what? I'll drop him over here. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope, nope, nope. Order. Go back. Come on, guys. There we go. And he rules the shrouded wood. Okay. So that was pretty good for him. Uh, doesn't change anything for this turn because he only gets the two actions. So we're going to move the start marker over there. Clean up the order and the hearth. And now it is my turn. So this one, real straightforward. Just rule the most sites. That being said, while it's still fairly cheap, I am going to search the deck. One, two, three, no visions. Not even the next one, okay. Hmm. No, I don't wanna do that. Boy, none of these are great. What do I have in here? Errant boy. Well, let's just play Naysayer right there. Flip Aaron Boy since he'll help me out a little bit. And then these guys will go out to there. Let me see what's in here. Ooh, Obsidian Cage. I like that one a lot. Um, hmm. That didn't help me too much. How many do I have here? Just the one. Well, I, th I guess I'll spend another three to search the world deck again. Oh, there's the next vision. Spirit Snare helped me a lot last game, but I still lost, so maybe I won't go with that. Blood Pact. Sacrifice an even number of warbands. Oh. Oh, that could be very good. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with that. Mm, I'll play it out to here, though, so I get at least that. And then these get discarded out to here. Then I don't have any arcane in my advisor, so I can't really trade for that. Uh... Hmm. I'm just going to I'm just going to trade. I'm not I'm not using its ability, I'm just trading. It whoa, nope, too far. All right. That's the end of that. That's the end of my turn. So, now we move over here. Threat? No, there is not. Doesn't have the people's favor. So, it doesn't have to put anything down. And we're going to draw three from the deck. I'm not going to look because I know there's a vision. I'm just trying to be able to see enough. I'm not reading it, but I need to be able to see enough to uh, know that I'm flipping it. So that brings it up to two. And then we're playing a friend, and we do have a friend who is also going to do the tactics. So that friend is going to go right there. Gonna get one from the order bank. It's gonna go up. Then tense gets discarded. And so now we're doing three actions. All right. Rule most sites. We do indeed. Don't need either of those. So we're hopping up here. Don't hold the people's favor. Could pay for the people's favor. And in fact, I forgot to seed those. Each starts with one. So let's, yeah, let's head over there, spend the two, and in fact, it's just going to drop it on Fort, because that's a friend. It's going to get us this, which gets this. Okay, and then head up there to search. Is there a, is there a vision? No vision. Okay. And we're playing friend again, but there is no friend, so we're going to be playing Inquisitor and making him a friend. Which gets us one from the arcane. 
and moves that up. And flip these and discard them out here to the hinterlands. Then one more action, which is going to be travel to the site with the most boots, most favor, which is the one we're at. So we skip that and we just trade. Gets three generally. In this case, just two from order. Nothing from Arcane. And that's the end of his turn. Didn't put anything out on the map. Oh, and I forgot to take my secret back. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, now it's my turn. What am I going to do? Hmm. Oh. I'm thinking. Hmm. There was some decent stuff in there. Yeah, we're going to spend two. Let's draw right here. Uh, we don't want Ancient Pact. Hmm. Tents. Plain tents. Gets me that. These. Oh, come on. Come on. These get discarded to the cradle. And we're going to spend one on tents to spend no supply. And we're going to hop down here. Oh, it's just the Great Slum. Well, that's okay. And then I'm going to spend two supply to search again. Vision of Rebellion. Ooh, people's favor. Ah, well, I don't really want it that bad. So, yeah, we're going to discard that to the cradle. Uh, I believe the conspirators are considered. Yeah, so he doesn't have any advisors. Well, I'm going to play this, get a beast. Then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to trade... Yeah, I'm going to trade. Two favor. Get a secret. Um... Not a ton else I could do, so I'm just going to bank that. Okay, and yeah, that'll be my turn. I'm going to drop these into Beast and a Nomad. Then we're going to assess threat. Nothing. I'm, not, I'm no threat. And then we draw... Okay, I know there's a vision immediately. I only read the word vision of. I swear. I know it's an honor system, but I, I swear I only read that. We're playing conspirator. Don't have a conspirator. So first off, we're doing this. And then we're playing unaligned making a conspirator. Which is going to go right there. Get a hearth. Longbows goes over here. Ah, okay. Um, then, yeah, we're going to be doing two actions. So we got... Move to a site with a relic. Should be this one. Can we pay? Yes, we can. That's all the actions. So get that secret out of here, burned. And that relic is the Circlet of Command. Frick. Oh, I wanted to take the people's favor. Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. I got to drop one on there. 
Uh, yep, so that's not very advantageous for me. Get in the... There we go. But whatever, turns over. Nothing on the board to deal with. <sighs> Yellow turn. Okay, okay. I forgot I had a drink. <laughs> Even though it was bright green. I don't know. I digress. So longbows is pretty decent. Blood Pact is pretty good too. I'm going to one, two. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna muster on second wind to get two. Then I'm going to one, two, three, up to here. And then I'm going to use Blood Pact. Sacrifice four war bands. Whoops. Which gains me two secrets. Okay. Trigger three. And then I'm going to spend my last favor to swing down here. What's up? Lush Coast. Do we have another coast site? Not currently. That's fine. Gonna, well, mm, yeah, I'm gonna spend two to draw these. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get most relics and banners, but I am gonna be able to do longbows. Huh. Yeah, I'm keeping that tucked away. And that's, I will bank that last one. And that's the end of that round. All right, assess threat, no threat. The draw. Uh, oh, and I forgot to do, so that was a vision. Okay, and we're playing Conspirator, which would be Hearth. Hearth can fit right there. Get you a coin. Pump them right up. That's a uh, token is right there. Okay, and they get three actions. So let's see. Hold most relic and banners, most assuredly. Gonna muster, which is, oh, and gotta drop a favor there, so that's gonna be all the favor. Muster, muster, for four warbands. Four warbands, there we are. So, that's one, I battle ready, four. Plus two, six. Yes, battle ready. Rival side with fewest. Yep, let's go. Right there. So they're going to do four plus the two. That's six. And they get these two. Here we go. What are the uh, gonna get? Some bad. Some real bad. Uh, okay, they have two versus. Yep, more than two. So they're gonna drop war bands here. War bands here. Whoops. And see, so that's one, two, three. So that gets them another search. Okay. And play friend. We have a friend, a tutor. Wait, no we don't. Uh, the old oak is gonna become a friend. Uh, 
Okay. And drop it on there. And that is that. Okay. End of their turn. Everything gets cleaned up. Oh, whoops. I forgot to take my own stuff back. Which is fine. Okay. What am I going to do about this situation? I need a good amount of favor. So let's see what we have out here. Well, he doesn't really have much mustering. Mustering action going on. So... Yeah, yeah, let's try this. I'm going to spend two. Nope, I need three in this region. Hop up here. I'm going to spend one to trade with the old oak for two favor. Then I'm going to muster twice. Which gets me four more bands. And I will bank the last one. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Ah, <sighs> well, that's the end of that round anyways. Assess threat, no threats. Um... Draw, or er, before I do that, favor. Oh, this is a vision. Okay. That's vision's drawn. And we're playing friend. We do have a friend. In fact, we have two flippin' battle plans. So that's going to drop right there. Okay, one from order. This one gets discarded back to the cradle. And order bumps up. So, four actions. My goodness. All right, travel to the site with the most. Uh, so that's going to be order. Order beast, arcane. Beast will give me two. Order, order an arcane. Yeah. This one, that's the one that'll give me the most. Then he's gonna trade. So that's gonna be two from order. Well, one. Uh, mm, actually, no. The one he wants is the Great Slum. Uh, so he would not have moved, so that's still only one action. He's going to trade for four, which is what's left in this. And he's going to trade for one secret from Hearth. Then, Sight with a Relic, which is over here. Can he pay? Yes. So that's three actions. And he's going to pay those to Arcane. I don't know why it is. Some The favors never seem to want to group correctly. Oh, he actually had five. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, and he gets the Bandit Crown. What does the Bandit Crown do? 
Oh, great. That that just helps him out even more. Okay. Hmm. He gets one more. Hold most relics and banners by a flippin' long shot. And then we got... Yeah, we're gonna drop the one. Wait. Yes, we can do that. Ruined edifices you cannot. So that's mustering those. And that's the end of his turn. Clean up. That goes to beast. Oh, gosh. Okay, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Okay, I'm going to trade with the old oak. For, oh, that only gets me one. Mm. There's no real discord. Order only has one. Hmm. You know, instead, I'm going to move over here. Let's see what we got. Drowned City. Can't put nothing there. But we got a relic. Oh, it's the oracular pig. I love that guy. Let's spend another two. Move down here. The step. That's not too bad. And this is... Book of Records. That could be good. Maybe in a different game. This time around, not very helpful. Uh, we'll spend another two. Let's draw three. Hmm... I'm going to replace naysayers with acting troop. Which could prove to be helpful. And... I don't know. Uh... Hold on, does Bandit Crown? I can't even do anything. Ah! Okay, nine more bands. Gonna bank one, I guess. Man, this Clockwork Prince is very, very difficult. And I'm just using the limited. With the expanded, that'd be so much harder. Okay. That's the end of that round, so here we go. If it's a six, he wins. It's a three. We keep moving. All right, no threat still. Then we draw, which gets us the last vision. Don't want to. I'm specifically using the blind spot on my glasses to make it fair. I'm turning so that I can see the shape, but nothing else. All right, and we're playing friend, which would be secret police. And that's, what does that do? Oh no, that's that's bad for me because he rules the entire, the entire thing. Okay. Okay, and that gets discarded there. And he takes five flipping actions. Is he battle ready? Uh, well, he doesn't have any rivals, so... No. As a matter of speaking. So we're gonna hop around here. Sight with the most. 
would be an order anything with arcane. So this one is his priority. Then he's going to trade for that. Which, yeah. Mm, arcane gets the one. There's no beast there. Three. Muster. So he's going to muster three. There's six. Okay. So he did three actions. Doesn't have any rivals. At least no rivals with sights. He's in the place with the most... Well, I suppose now... Yeah, it'd still be arcane. So... He's going to trade again to get one more from arcane. Uh, skipped that. Can't muster. Travel. Trade again. That's five. Okay. That's his turn. Um. Oh, 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 and I was, uh. Wait. Wait a minute. One of those should have gone to this, flipped it, which means he would have only gotten two. Then he would have done another one to Hearth. Which would have gotten him another one. Uh, but then he wouldn't have traded again. So we'd be back here. I think. I don't know. I'm trying to keep track of this as best I can. It's fairly confusing. Um, okay. So, that's the end of his turn. Is there anything I can do? I can't play Visions. All I can really do is... Okay. I'm going to spend two, hop up here, uh, trade with this one, which I get longbows and acting troop on that. Nope. No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Never mind. Let's hop back here. I want to go to the one with beast. So let's move two. To go here. Then I'm going to trade with old oak. And then, yeah, acting troop act as, as beast. So I get... Nope, never mind. Neither is very advantageous. So I'd rather be here. That's fine. That's fine. Oh boy, I only get the one favor. So I will muster. One. Which gives me seven. I'm gonna... Uh, You know what? It would have cost the same amount, so I'm going to say I went over here instead. And... Yeah, I guess I'm going to campaign. Um... Against which, though? Uh, I'm going to get seven... Minus three, four. So I guess just these two. Or no, I would have had to go to the narrow pass and I can't... My brain. Hack it. This, this, what I did before. I'm still going to campaign. I don't care. I'm just going to campaign against this board. I only get four. Because I don't rule anything. 
but I'm going to use long bow so I get five. And then he gets one for Oathkeeper, one for the site. Let's see what I can get. Two. I lose one. Two versus one, two, three. Uh, eight, eleven, thirteen. Five, six. Yeah, I just don't have enough to win that, so that was just a waste of time. Ugh. Okay. Uh, spend the last one. Trade with Hearth. There we go. Come back up to here. If he rolls a five or a six, he wins. And it's one. So we keep going. All right, assess threat. There is no threat, not even remotely. Draw a card. Uh, we got battle plan, but it doesn't matter. Play friend. The highest friend here would be rangers. So he gets a beast. And these get grouped up. Tossed in there. And then we only do three actions. That's not too bad. Uh, at the end of it, it would have been at the end of assess, so he would have wanted to go to here. There. Okay. He's going to hop up here. Trade for that, which gets him... Oh, crap, I forgot to clean up on my turn. Two secrets. And that goes back there. So he trades for s favors. Uh, order, he gets one, because that's all that's in there. Arcane, he gets one. Okay. Two. Muster. So yeah, he's going to drop all three for that muster action. Ooh, almost. Because I would get him up to six. Uh, so I'm going to say he would not have done the last one. Since it's a waste. Battle ready. There's nobody to fight, so it doesn't matter. Just stuck in this loop. Uh, this is still the spot with the most... Yes. Yeah. And so he's going to trade one more time. Just gets him one more. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, he is stuck in this loop. And it is no good for me. Cleaning it up. Oh, my God. Okay. I got to do something. I'm well. I'm gonna spend one supply to muster. Uh oh, actually, I'll muster with arcane. One, two, and then I will trade with order. And then I will muster once. Well, yeah, let's muster once more with hearth. See if I can do anything. Oh boy. Well, nothing on this turn anyways. Okay, I'm going to spend two to move to the Narrow Pass. That should do it. Okay, I get my secret back. Clean these up. And he gets a roll. If it's a three or higher, he wins. It's six. He wins! Again. Bleh. Oh, well. That's fine.
No, genuinely, it's it's fine. This guy is very, very difficult to fight, so I don't I don't mind a bit. Uh we are going to delete. Yes? I don't know. He's hanging out. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna see if he gets deleted. We're gonna toss him. Uh, let's toss him in the purple bag and see if he survives. Or, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to drop him right here. And if he does not disappear after I do the oath, then I will do a little zoom in and he'll be our little mascot for the end of this. Uh, whoops, wrong one. So this is game five. Just in case it glitches out. All right, declare winner, Chancellor. I can't, I just can't get him. He's too strong. Uh, whoops. I messed that up. I gotta put these on the thing. And the next one, I would say, is probably gonna be protection. He's gonna do the leftmost. And it's going to be the leftmost again. Confirm. And he's going to add the one that he did. Confirmed. Ah, oh, he disappeared. That's okay. That's fine. We don't need a little mascot man. All right, let me uh, let me export the chronicle before I forget. which I'm going to, if you're watching from the Woodland Warriors, I'm going to play at least one game with real people with that one before I put it in the Oath Legacy, because I've probably messed up stuff in here, but once it's gone through the filter of at least one real person game, it should be fine. Um, okay, so thank you very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of this stream or want to watch any of my past streams, I've done two other games of Oath, and I'll do another one on this coming Saturday, um, then you can check the past broadcast tab, which has the last 60 days, which does include those last two streams of Oath, or you can check Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which has all of my uh, past Twitch streams archived on YouTube. So that'd be the best way to watch all of them. Uh, I'd also ask you to check out Iggy and the Ape. That's my personal YouTube. I do a lot of tabletop unboxings, which will include Oath once I get it physically, um, and a bunch of other stuff. I've done tabletop reviews, which I plan to do more. I'm doing going to do a design a tabletop design series coming up. Uh, I did a, a video design diary for the NunPub Haba Game Jam I did last weekend, so that should be going up next Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing a... I'm, posting an unboxing of a, a kickstarter game um but regardless i'd appreciate it i put a lot of work into the stuff there if you want to catch any future streams i have a schedule right down below which shows which games on which days uh if you want to know the exact times go click the lion icon over there on the browser version and go to the schedule tab it'll say what games and what time on what day but that's all subject to change so if you want to be sure you don't miss anything Follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid and put notifications on. I tweet out half an hour before I go live. Or if you want to be absolutely sure, click the heart over there. That'll make you follow. It's free if you have a free Twitch account. It definitely helps out the channel. I've finally broken 50. I need to get up to that three viewer average, but I think I might be able to do that over this weekend, maybe? My, my Saturday Oath streams do pretty well. So fingers crossed I'll be able to break affiliate, but it still helps. And, you know, you can get notifications every time I go live with the Twitch app or with email, however you like to do it. That's a good way to make sure that you never miss a stream. Once again, I'd like to thank you for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your phone, your game console, Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch tonight. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you had a good time. I hope you'll join me on Saturday at about 1 Eastern for a game of Oath with some of the folks from the Woodland Warriors Discord. That's the official Leader Games Discord. And I hope that you have a really great night. And hey, if nobody else has said this to you, I'll say this to you. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Join me Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern for 
some more oath with actual people this time, not just a robot that kicks my butt the whole time. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna uh, take myself off camera, but I'm gonna probably raid you guys over if somebody is streaming right now. Let me check. Let me check who's streaming right now. Ooh, if the Brothers Murph are streaming, that'd be perfect. They're tabletop. Uh, they're playing Clans of Caledonia. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let me let me raid you guys over to there. Okay, we're raiding over to them. Let them know I sent you. Have a great night, everybody. Goodbye.